Hola my beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hello my name is Kurishkar and in today's video like this is one of the most requested videos on my channel that is an affordable skincare routine. This routine can generally be used by teenagers or even young adults or adults so yeah it's affordable good Indian skincare and a an Indian skincare brand that you all have been sleeping upon and this video is not sponsored by the brand however I would have loved a sponsorship but regardlessly I tried their products last year once and fell in love with a couple of them and then I just realized I was you know reordering them and always stocking them up but I never talked about those products and when I searched properly all the products brand were very good and good yeah, I have just used them over quite a while now on and off and I really really like them so to know my complete review please keep on watching alright so this skincare routine in particular is for all skin types I suppose it's very hydrating yet not greasy or oily at all okay so it's gonna yeah suit pretty much all the skin types right and having said that let's start with the first product that is the India skincare face cleanser it's the almond and wheat germ oil rejuvenating face wash smoothens and rev revitalizes skin I have literally used it up so I'm like eligible to give my proper review okay <laughs> like I've really used this brand thoroughly and some of the products are like I have reordered them and stuff like that regardless like, I mean, back to this one it's a really nice gel based cleanser yet it does lather like kuch gel based cleansers bilkuli foam up nahi hote and it does not give you that satisfaction of you know washing your face mind you since it's not a cream based cleanser it does not lather like crazy but it still lathers and give you you know the satisfaction of using a face wash I suppose and yeah this cleanser is very gentle on the skin it will not rip your skin off all its natural oils as such also it contains a lot of good oils that you know makes it the hydrating cleanser that it is so it contains a lot of wheat germ oil almond oil shea butter and so many more I suppose and just like all the products to follow this one is also under rupees 500 and even like further you can you know find a discount on this brand always on Nykaa which is super cool it's underrated at the moment so make the best use of it and the discounts okay and further all of these products do have a scent I must tell you already all of these products do have a scent some have a more of a higher perfume or fragrance content than the others but it's not something that has irritated my skin so I don't mind that so pehle I used to be like very anti-fragrance to be honest but now I'm a little like if it's not disturbing my skin you know it's okay <laughs> so yeah that's where I stand this one however has a very mild fragrance uh, as compared to some of the other products okay and her last but not the least talking about the claims smoothens and revitalizes skin smoothens not really if because it's not an exfoliating face wash or something like that so it's yeah I mean it's you know not supposed to smoothen your skin honestly it's just a good mild cleanser and washes off all the dirt and grim from your face very well and that's all I suppose yeah so that was our step one the face wash now coming down to a step two also it's not a regular step it's once a week or once a 10 days wala step okay and that's the India skincare it's a hyaluronic acid and aloe vera brightening mini facial basically it's a face mask and it's the best face mask I've ever tried may I just say that okay I am in love with this face mask. This is the third tub if I am not wrong. Um, I guess the third or fourth view set the tub that I have purchased of you know the face mask I have purchased. I have I don't know what this formula is. I suppose it's the very small amount but however glycolic acid and kojic acid in this one have exfoliating properties basically but these are like in very tiny teeny amounts. Also make sure you use this face mask in the evening or at the night and the other day you're wearing you know a good lot of sunscreen because it is slightly exfoliating so apart from the glycolic acid and kojic acid the main construct it's a clay mask so it contains bentonite once again i'll just read out sorry bentonite clay and kaolin powder i just can never pronounce these correctly but these are super good ingredients for a clay mask it generally makes your skin feel like soft I don't know just soft is the word dude and very cleansed and your pores are just yeah cleansed and refreshed this is one product I would scream in your face and tell you 
एक बार लेके देखो सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट आर ओकेजनल स्टेप टू दैट गोन बी अ फेस मास्क बट मोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ रेगुलर रूटीन आई बिलीव आफ्टर फेस वॉश विल मूव ऑन टू एन आई क्रीम नो प्रोवाइडेड बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव अ टोनर फ्रॉम द ब्रांड एंड अ टोनर इन जनरल इज नॉट you know a necessity in your skin care routine it's nice to add one as a layer of hydration but you can surely skip that as a whole okay and here we have the india skin care eye cream this is the haldi and retinol infused brightening under eye cream this one has actives that is retinol very well stated yeah just one more thing that i would like to point out the brand does not disclose the percentage of any of the actives that are used in the product at least not on the outer packaging or the back side of the product i will ensure that i also check the website once jitna mujhe yaad hai nike pe bhi nahi the uh, you know the bifurcation as in the percentages which honestly you must really check when you're using actives saying that in the mask itself they had glycolic acid and stuff like that which is not mentioned in what percentage so yeah that is something you must keep in mind that isme nahi likha okay uh, regardlessly since you know that you're using actives you must 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 use a sunscreen the following day lather your face with sunscreen okay because when you're using any any sort of skincare actives any sort of uh, active based acidic skin care it makes your skin super super sensitive to the sun so to avoid that photosensitivity and you know avoid your skin from worsening just please use a sunscreen okay coming down to this product that is their haldi and retinol brightening eye cream honestly i like the eye cream i like the texture it's a very gel like but as compared to the moisturizer it's not as hydrating i don't find it hydrating enough for my under eyes regular days pe when i'm not wearing makeup maybe it's just fine but when i you know when i wash off my face a full face of makeup then i need something sort of heavy duty and something that will really hydrate my under eyes especially agar mai ek separate eye cream use kar rahi hu so you know i want it to be a little like you know worth it and to be honest you can skip this one and just go ahead with the moisturizer because that in itself is very hydrating so this sort of is not a necessary necessity product whatever you want to call it but i still wanted to reveal also one another factor that i am not a huge fan of this is uh, as compared to the moisturizer this is a lot more fragrant especially putting something as fragrant around your eyes is again not the best choice it's a very okayish eye cream it reminds me of the l'oreal some gel based eye cream that i've tried that was also very like water based kuch khas nahi and very very fragrant so it does remind me of that but kind of not worth it but it's like way cheap so you can give it a shot it's that all righty and the next product is the in their skincare serum it's their acai berry and jojoba infused radiance serum so it has jojoba oils and some other oils turmeric oil i have studied about all these oils me kaise zubani yaad hai okay just <laughs> mind that it also contains grapefruit oil soy oil regardlessly it's a water based serum it's infused with all these oil hydrosols okay and it also contains the calming properties of aloe and rose water a couple of ingredients that i find could be i mean problematic maybe is a lemon oil especially because lemon oil can be like very irritant on some skin types regardlessly and thankfully and fortunately it has not reacted with my sensitive skin because my skin pe um all these what you say essential oils yeah uh, they tend to react on my skin type but this one fortunately did not also it's a water based serum as i said but i find it not hydrating enough and since it does not have like any treatmentative properties as a serum you can skip this one to be very honest if you just want to feel fancy using a serum you can go ahead with this one because it's cheap it's a uh, it's affordable i want to say okay so you can go ahead with this one but you can also skip because it it does not have treatmentative properties it is just slightly hydrating and makes your fe- skin feel like soft and supple and that's literally it it will not treat your scars or your pigmentation or some anything like that over time it will just hydrate your skin thoda sa and make it feel like anything you know you apply hydrating it feels soft and supple so that's the kind of feeling you can expect out of this not treat, not like a 
treatmentative serum okay all right and another gem of a product from india has to be this baby right here it's the moisture surge cream it's vitamin e and niacinamide and it's a beautiful moisturizer and can you just uh, just reread the name vitamin e and niacinamide moisture surge cream can you just take a wild guess ki kiska dupe hai Did you? Did you guess that? It's the dupe to the Clinique Moisture Surge, and it quite literally. Where the fuck did I keep it? Abhi aaye tha. Here I have it. These two are so insanely identical, and so like the the difference of price is just too vast to compare. But these are really comparable, and I genuinely feel that the brand sort of you know. created this product as a dupe only keeping the name moisture surge and apparently is an exact dupe of the product itna coincidence nahi hota okay so both of these are basically gel based moisturizers super lightweight yet very hydrating i would just want to go ahead and also say ki clinic one is thodu sa bas thodu sa zyada moisturizing as compared to the india skin india skin in their skin care wala um but other than that they are they're super close they feel the same they have the same results they just hydrate your skin very well they don't have as such any treatmentative properties however this one contains niacinamide so it's apparently supposed to give you sort of an even skin texture and you know help with your pigmentation and spots and scars and stuff like that but To be very very honest, मैंने ऐसा कुछ फील नहीं करा मे बी ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई वॉज यूजिंग इट ऑन एंड ऑफ एंड नॉट सुपर रिलीजियसली बट स्टिल आई वुड गो आउट ऑफ माई वे एंड से दीज आर लाइक दिस इज अ ब्यूटिफुल ड्यूब ऑफ द मॉइस्चर सर्च दीज आर वेरी आइडेंटिकल एंड इफ यू एवर वॉन्टेड टू ट्राई द क्लिनिक मॉइस्चर सर्च बिकॉज इट इट्स हाइड टू द गॉड्स बाय यू नो ब्यूटी क्रिएटर्स एंड दिस द ब्यूटी स्पेस प्लीज गो हेयर एंड गिव दिस वन अ ट्राई क्यू विल नॉट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड अके All right, you guys, and that's about it for the skincare routine. So, if you ask me, my picks that I would see here to pakka lo, I guess you know it already. It's the face mask and the moisturizer. Too good, available at a crazy affordable price. Gem of products, beautiful. They have fragrance. So, if you're like super sensitive to fragrance. kind of skip on it but if you're like okay with a subtle fragrance you will like them the eye cream however somewhat is super fragrant so you can skip on that even the serum if you just want to feel fancy go ahead but other than that it's not as such treatmentative as i said a hundred times by now the face wash is nice as well you can actually give that a shot to okay and that's all i tried from india skincare so far also let me know in the comments below which other skincare brands may be underrated ones maybe overrated ones that you want me to try and review for you guys i will do the same for you all you know i'm doing a skincare review after so long <sighs> a little chotu sa two liner story time so basically i made this review video on dot and key in year back it got it blew up like crazy it got 70 80000 views and i got such crazy hate for um, yeah just just called out for so so many things that i did private that video by now but i and for so long i did just make up on this channel and no skin care reviews and i was like I really want to because I do try a lot of new skincare products. I like so many. I recommend so many to my friends and family and they also turn out to most you know most of the times really like it. And I was like that's not a good reason to stop doing what I love to do. And yeah, I'm here back to help you guys with all your makeup, beauty, skincare queries and yeah, hit me up and I'll see you in my next one with a new video. Until then, goodbye.